Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today I will share with you guys 10 amazing apps that I think will add extra value to your iPhone. These are apps that are super useful and allow you to do way more with your iPhone. Like this one right here, it is called CryEye and it allows you to identify different objects using the camera of your iPhone. It works of course via AI so it's super cool. So if you just like add an object here, if I just go ahead and ask like one of these questions or I can add my own right here, then it will basically show me what's on the camera. And you can see right here, the details, it's actually really, really cool. So it identifies the item. In this case, it shows me what it's made out of. It's pretty awesome. So it basically will identify anything and give you any information you need. You will have the chance here to actually even save that as your favorite if you identify something that you might need later. So it's pretty awesome. Video Summarizer is up next. It is a simple app to use. It works with YouTube. You go ahead and copy the URL of any YouTube video you want. All you have to do then is just open the app, tap right here, allow to paste the link, and then it will give you a summary of that video. So here I have a video of mine. I just paste the link right here and you can see right there. It does give me a summary of that video and it's actually really, really accurate. So you'll basically don't have to watch like a three or four minute or even longer video. You will have a small summary, which will let you know the key points of that video and anything you need to know about any video that you just want to get a summary of. Next up is long shot. Now with long shot, you will be able to stitch screenshots together. Now this will work especially with like conversation screenshots. So if you have like a screenshot of a conversation, of course you cannot just put the whole conversation in one screenshot. You will probably have multiple screenshots. This will stitch them together and it will work of course with things like websites as well. So you go ahead and load the screenshots from here so right here, I have loaded three screenshots. And as you can see right there, it will stitch them together. So you can see right there, the line where it indicates where one screenshot ends and the other continues. And as you can see, it actually works perfectly. It looks really, really awesome. Of course, you can edit this and you can move around where the scissors are, but it does a great job automatically. So I don't think you have to do it right there. So just like that, you have now saved that into a picture, into your camera roll, and you have three screenshots stitched into one. Next up is Shortcuts Archive. And with Shortcuts, you can do a lot of things on your iPhone. It's actually one of the most underrated features of iOS. It allows you to do quite a lot with your iPhone, and you will have a ton of different sh shortcuts to discover on this app. This is the app right here. You go ahead and search for any screen, any, any shortcut you want. And then you will have some popular picks right here, like this one right here, that will send you a notification once your iPhone is fully charged. You will have some pretty cool ones right here. Now what you can do is go to the new arrivals right there. You can filter them, of course. You can also even add your own ones. And then if you go to search right here, again, just put any name you want for like any shortcut that you might think you want to download to your device. Now, if we go here, you can of course log in here and even add your own shortcuts by tapping the plus button, which is pretty awesome. So if you have like any shortcut that you have created, you can just go ahead and share it right there. Now, if you tap on the filter here, you can just go ahead and select different filters, which will allow you to find more like specific shortcuts that you might need, like all the different categories, or maybe even search them by device. Next up is bird search. Now with bird search, you can specifically search for anything you want on Twitter. So you can discover like different tweets right there, or you can go to a new search and then you will have a ton of details right here. So you can choose to search for content conversations or lists, and then you can choose which words you want to include. You can include any of the words right there. You can select the language. You can select accounts here. So if you just want to search for like a specific users, like tweets from a specific user, or maybe just verified accounts, you can do that right there. And then you can also add like different categories and all that. And this will let you like specifically search for the things that you need on Twitter. The next app for the video is called HyperDuck. Now this app is meant to be used from Safari and it lets you quickly send any link you want 
from Safari on your iPhone to your Mac. The way it works when you're on a website that you want to send to your Mac, all you have to do is just tap the share button, scroll down here and you will have a button to send to Mac. You tap right there and it will just send the website directly and open it on your Mac. So it's pretty useful. Next up is an app called Alico. Now this app allows you to transcribe any like conversation or anything that you might have recorded as a voice memo. So even if you have it saved on your files or on the voice memo app, you can just load them here or maybe even record a new one directly from here. So if we open one, we can just go ahead and open it from here. You will see that in a couple of seconds, it will actually transcribe what you have said on that voice memo. Now what you can do here is you can copy that text, you can search anything you want within this text that has been transcribed and then of course you can save that or if you tap right here it will show you right here the details regarding the words and the characters that have been used on this transcription. Next up is What's Hunt. Now, What's Hunt allows you to learn more about specific topics that you might be interested on. Like, let's say sports or something like that, anything you want, you can just go ahead and select them right here. And then of course it will show you different things regarding your interests. So let's just say we want to do automotive. If we tap right there, it will show us like different videos, different articles and all that regarding automotive. So if we go here, you can see we can see a ton of things here like different news, different tutorials, anything you need to learn about that specific like category of things that you might be interested in. So if you just want to explore things and learn more things about your interests, this is the app to go. Next up is Geekbench AI. Now Geekbench AI is a new app from Geekbench, which basically lets you test your device. So this one actually uses AI to test your device. And you can see right here, it will require a few minutes on the first run, but then it will of course be faster, but it will just test the CPU, the GPU, or anything you want here, the neural engine of your iPhone, and it will let you know how your iPhone is actually performing. And last but not least is Reader. Now, the Reader is an app that lets you just paste a link here or paste any text you want, or maybe even a file, and it will read it for you. So like if you have maybe a PDF file, you can just go ahead and just add it here and then it will read it for you. This is really awesome. You will have the controls here. You will of course set the speed of the reading. You can of course change the voice. You will have a ton of different voices here. You can select from and download them to your device. So it's pretty awesome. Anytime you have to read something but you don't want to do it yourself or you don't have the time, you can just have this app read it for you. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps on this video. If you want to download any of them, make sure to check out the pinned comment. All the links will be there. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one.